The mining industry is extremely important for the Australian economy. Coal makes up almost half of its total exports by value and also provides energy throughout the continent. 12 of Australia's major ports are located in Queensland next to the Great Barrier Reef. The Gladstone Port is the second largest coal export location in Queensland, third largest coal export location in Australia, and the fourth largest coal export location in the world. In 2012, 3,947 individual ships went through the reef ports, and by 2032, this number is expected to rise over 10,000. The ships that pass through the reef create noise, introduce non-native species, leak toxins into the water, and form turbulence with their propeller, which result in major damage to the ecosystems that live there. In recent years, there have been plans to finance the building of a new port, the Carmichael Coal Mine, which creates enough coal to supply electricity for more than 100 million people. This decision has caused great conflict with Australian citizens. The coal industry is causing major damage to the Great Barrier Reef. Coal and dust fragments are released from the coal plants and ships into the reef, which has a toxic effect on marine animals and ecosystems. In fact, enough coal has been deposited into the ocean to cover the entire reef. In general, the use of coal has a negative effect on the oceans. When coal is burned, it releases carbon dioxide into the air and this raises water temperatures. These high temperatures cause plants and coral to have difficulty photosynthesizing. Even though the reef has been affected by coral bleaching, overfishing, and toxic runoff, its coral can bounce back and continue to thrive if conditions improve. Half of the reef is already dead, and it is in great danger with the possibility of the coal business expanding. The Great Barrier Reef is one of the most diverse ecosystems in the world, and it is a five to six billion dollar industry for Australia through fishing and tours. Further, it creates jobs for Australians. If we lose the reef, we also lose this whole sector of tourism income. However, the coal industry generates around $54 billion for Australia, which is why it's expanding so rapidly. Downsizing the coal industry to protect the reef would result in a massive hit for the Australian economy, as it's the most valuable Australian export. There's a tough debate here on how to find the middle ground between protecting the environment and continuing to benefit the economy. The Australian government says it is working on sustainability efforts to help protect the reef. And while these efforts discuss the issue of climate change and ways to improve the problem, they fail to acknowledge the fact that these coal mines and overall coal distribution play a large part in this issue. The people of Australia are divided in a stance of industry versus conservation, but regardless of stance, one thing is clear. Without any action, the Great Barrier Reef, one of the wonders of the world, will only continue to degrade.